Hello, fearless communicators. Diane A. Ross here, your fearless conversations mentor. Today, I want to talk a little bit about things never to say in a difficult conversation. Now, I don't know about you, but I find these things just kind of sometimes slip off my lips without even thinking about it. And I think this is pretty common. So what I want to do is just review a few of the ones that come up often because we can't change things we're not aware of. And then having a plan of what you might do or say instead. Because the problem with just focusing on don't do this is then we think about, well, don't you know, don't get angry. Then we think angry. Don't get defensive. You think defensive. Don't say, you know, elephant. And then we think about elephants and we, we say elephant. So we want to come up with something as an alternative. So a few things that I have heard clients say over and over again to me when they're telling me about, oh, I had this great conversation and, you know, I let this person go or I didn't give them this position. But I told them, you know what? It's not personal. And as soon as we say it's not personal, it, we make it personal. And of course it's personal if somebody doesn't get to, you know, doesn't get, a, it gets let go, they don't get a job, they don't get an opportunity to sit on a committee that they wanted or whatever it might be, it's profoundly personal. Yet we say that because I think somehow we feel better when we say it's not personal. You know, it just wasn't the right fit, you know, just, so what do you, so what can you do instead? Instead of saying it's not personal, we really don't need to say anything. It doesn't add anything. Just share the news, deliver whatever is awkward or difficult, and then give the person the courtesy, the, give, them, give them your respect by just letting them know and then just stop talking, okay? All right, so that's, that's a little bit of a plan for it's not personal. Another one that I often will hear is, and I hear myself uttering it is, especially in our marital relationships or maybe with our kids is, or maybe with your mother too, is I didn't say that. So you're having a back and forth in a difficult conversation and the person will quote you as saying something you totally didn't say. Now, I'm no one to misquote people for sure. And I think I do it sometimes to get a reaction, not the best. So when somebody, you know, when you wanna say, that's not what I said, Instead of that, there's two options. One, you can just kind of let it go because sometimes that person is just, it's almost could be like a bit of a hook, right? They're upset. So they're just like, you know, they, they misquote you. And if you just kind of let that go, let the conversation unfold, you may not even need to deal with it. Other times, if it becomes clear that there's a misunderstanding, you may need to go back in and clarify. And so you might say, you know what? I just want to make sure I clarify where I'm coming from. You know, this is what I this is what I meant, or I just want to make sure that we're we're on the same page here. Here's where I was coming from. I think there's been a misunderstanding, or something along those lines. And of course, tone is always important. Okay, but so the alternative, even in that case, could be just to say nothing at all. All right. I want to do a third thing: never to say in difficult conversations. And you've probably heard me say this many times and I keep hearing it and I sometimes even find myself once in a while saying this still is I'm sorry you feel that way. So somebody gives you, you know, they give you difficult feedback to hear that you haven't been fair or that you've said something that was hurtful or, you know, they do it in a way that we feel really uncomfortable. And you often probably, you know, in terms of dealing with it, will say, well, I'm sorry you feel that way. And we're not really sorry. And we're actually kind of ticked off and, you know, feelings are just, they aren't good or bad. They just are. And it's one of those phrases that is used so much that it just automatically gets people's backs up. So what could be an alternative to saying, I'm sorry you feel that way? Well, it could just be a matter of acknowledging what that person has said. You know, it sounds like you were really hurt by what I said, or it sounds like this is really upsetting to you, or I, or I can get why why this why this is bothering you or sometimes you can just acknowledge that they're upset about something just by staying focused stay present just stay and listen all right pretty simple stuff so just want you to keep that in mind awareness is the key like we can't change things that we're not aware of and sometimes we need a few reminders till these things really start to sink in. Repetition is amazing. So I'm going to, I'm going to do some more on this series of things never to say in difficult conversations. And if you have some ideas of things that 
you've either been on the receiving end of or that you say, you're thinking, well, I don't know what, what might be an alternative. Draw me a line um, and uh, you know, let me know what you want to hear about. And I would love to be able to help address that and get your feedback. So you can just send that to Diane at elephantconversations.com. All right. So until next time, go out there, have your conversations and be fearless. Thank you.